Welcome back into the kitchen and welcome to my sustainability journey where I'm on a mission to become sustainable within an urban environment and as much as possible grow everything that we possibly can and turn that into a self-sustainable source of food that is nutritious for our family and reduces the need to rely on large-scale corporates agriculture all of that and today's video is super exciting because we're doing exactly that we are taking something that is commercially highly unsustainable and highly pollutant for your body and turning it into something that is very sustainable very easy to do and actually adds a lot of nutrients into your diet today we are taking the humble mustard seed and we are going to turn it into delicious, homemade, country-style mustard. So if you want to jump through some of the chapters, please use them. They're in the description. They should also be on the slide bar. If you want to hop straight to the recipe, please feel free to do that. So what's the whole drive towards making something like this at home? Well, when it comes to sources, they are one of the biggest culprits when we are looking at stabilizers, preservatives, colorants, artificial this, artificial that. Sources are just mind-blowingly unhealthy. And it's also one of the things that are the simplest things to do. The very next recipe I'm going to be doing after this mustard recipe is a mayo. Mayo is a four-ingredient recipe that takes less than five minutes. It'll last a week. It costs you very little. The same as mustard. Mustard has three ingredients and it will pretty much never go off in your fridge. So why do we need to be going to stores and buying single-use plastic bottles that are filled with preservatives and who knows what else in? To prove this point, I am going to give you some examples. On the screen, I am going to be posting the ingredient list of a few of the products that I picked up at our local supermarket to show you what's actually in them. The worst product we found had 16 ingredients in mustard. Remembering, mustard is a three ingredient sauce. And of the 16 ingredients and the whole bottle of mustard, only 5% contained mustard powder. That is mind-blowing. The rest is filled with cornstarch, with flowers, with all these other fillers. And you're not even getting the natural product. You're not getting the benefit of the mustard seed. You're not getting the benefit of honey, of turmeric, of all these organic, healthy, natural products that our bodies can actually benefit from. You're not getting that in, your, in, in any of your sources. Now, if we look at the sustainability level of something like homemade mustard, how, is, how sustainable is it? Well, if we go through all the ingredients, what we need is mustard seeds, which you can grow in your garden. If you're growing mustard plants, leave them to grow into the summer, they will bolt and go to seed, and you will have thousands and thousands of little seeds. You get white, black, brown, you get a whole range of different mustard seeds and you can use all of them. So you can grow your own mustard seed very, very easily. You can also go to something like Food Lovers Market, which is where I get my wholesale items from, and they've got shelves of the raw ingredients so you can just get as much as you want. And in this case, I just go and I get 100 grams of seeds. I will grind and make my own mustard seed powder and then keep some of the mustard seeds over. Honey, you could, if you had your own beehive, get your own honey. You can also get it bulk. It's a natural, sustainable product. Turmeric, you can grow turmeric yourself. So once again, you don't need to buy it. And then I've just put in some black pepper because black pepper helps with the absorption of turmeric in the body. And then salt, you need to buy. You could, if you were really up for it, Go to the ocean and dehydrate some salt water to get salt. 
but you can just go and get some. It's probably a bit easier. Vinegar, which is over here, is something you can make as well. It doesn't need to be white wine vinegar. It can be apple cider vinegar. It could be any vinegar. So that's it. Those are your ingredients. Everything you can make and get yourself from your garden. So this is pretty much a 100% sustainable recipe. You can take the off cuts from all these products, put it back in your compost pile, put it back in your garden to improve everything you just took from the earth to make this. So now we know why we shouldn't be looking at store-bought. We know how sustainable this is. Let's just get into making this recipe now. So what we need is, we need a combined total of 100 grams of mustard seed. And that's broken up into 50 grams of mustard powder, which you will see in the video is just simply taking the mustard seeds, putting them into a grinder that gives fine powder. I use our coffee grinder, makes a very, very fine powder. And then what you're doing is you are then creating the paste consistency for the mustard. You then keep the seed so that you get the crunchy consistency of the mustard as well. And this is the first stop point in this recipe. Because if you like a very smooth mustard, then you don't really want to be having the seeds. Then you're going to create almost, you, you can even go 100 grams of powder and it's going to make a really pasty, perfectly smooth mustard. If you like crunchy bits and you like it textured, then you're going to use half half of full seed to powder. And this is where your preferences come into play. So use 100 grams in total, but split it, test it based on what you like. Then what you need, which is a very, very important ingredient, is half a cup of cold water. And the cold water is what stimulates the chemical reaction inside the broken up mustard to give it that burny flavor. If it's warm water, it's not going to activate that chemical compound and you're not going to get the heat from the mustard. Not this one, it's over here. The other thing we need is just a three tablespoons of vinegar. Then what I like to add in is turmeric. So it's one teaspoon of turmeric. And then like I mentioned previously, but if you skip chapter, I add in a, two cracks of black pepper because black pepper helps with the absorption of turmeric. Teaspoon of salt and then optional extras for you. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of honey just to break some of that burniness from the mustard. You can put more, you can put in less. This is just a rough, rough guideline. In addition to this, the world is your playground. You can do anything extra. You can add in extra herbs. You can add in things like garlic, garlic flakes, if you want it to be, to be a bit more garlicky. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our half a cup of water and we are going to add in the first 50 grams of powder. And then what we're going to need, very importantly, is a blender. You want to do blender on low power because you don't want to paste all of it up. You just want to mix it up. You could also just take a spoon or a fork and mix it all together. But for the sake of getting a consistent texture across, I'm just going to mix this up nicely. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is add in the whole mustard seeds. And then at this point, I'm going to add in the mustard sorry, the turmeric with black pepper and the salt. And then one more thing that I need to do is I now need to just let this sit for a little while. The rule of thumb here is another stop point. This is now the scale of heat that you prefer. If you want a hot mustard, you're going to leave this for between five to 10 minutes. If you want a mild mustard, you're going to leave it for longer. The longer you leave it, the more that compound that has just been released from breaking up the seeds is going gonna, is gonna to break down. So you'll see we haven't added the vinegar yet. Why? It is because the vinegar is immediately going to stop that breakdown 
of the compound that is released that impacts the, the flavor and the spiciness of the mustard. So at this point, you want to figure out how spicy you want this. And if you want it very spicy, short amount, if you want it very mild, more than 10 minutes, as soon as it's at the spicy level that you want it, you will add in your vinegar, which will immediately stop that chemical reaction. Then we'll come back, add in the honey, and we are done. So I will see you in just under 10 minutes. It's been just under 10 minutes, and I'm going to give this a taste. Mm. That's got a really nice, nice thing to it. Opens up my sinuses nicely. <laughs> It's actually, it reminds me of the, the immediate sensation you get when you eat wasabi, that, that cleansing of the palate. So I quite like this where this is now at. So I'm going to add in <clears throat> my vinegar, give it a nice good mix. Make sure it's blended in really nicely. And I'm just going to give it one more taste. Mm. That's tasting fantabulous. Now, like I said, this is optional, but I like to just break up the, the tanginess and the, the very powerful mustard flavor with a little bit of sweetness. Okay, so now what we have, I am going to bring it in close so you can see, is a semi-liquid mustard. I say semi-liquid because it is still quite runny. It's not completely firm yet. But what is going to happen, be right back, is as soon as you add this mustard into the jar and you pop it into the fridge, overnight it is going to solidify into a paste. So don't expect this runny liquid that you can see over here to be usable right now. It won't. All the powder, all the seeds, all the ingredients still need to absorb all the moisture. And once everything is cooled down, everything has been absorbed, you will then have your nice thick mustard to use. So then the only step left is to take a jar, a glass jar, and pour it in. You can... Uh, I'm actually going to do this close to the camera so you can see. See how chunky that is. And all the ingredients together will give you a perfect jar of mustard. Now what we'll do is we'll take this, put the lid on, Pop it in the fridge, leave it overnight, come back tomorrow, and it's a perfect glass of homemade mustard with only a couple of ingredients. Nothing artificial, nothing, nothing synthetic, nothing that is going to cause inflammation for your body or any form of damage. Just pure goodness that tastes amazing, tastes wholesome, and is actually adding nutrients into your body rather than damaging it. So, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, please make sure you subscribe to my journey. The next video in this little sauce cooking series is going to be on homemade mayo, where we, spoiler alert, are going to be using homemade mustard in the mayo recipe. If you have any questions about the ingredients, the recipe, anything like that, please drop me a comment below. As always, I will get back to you. If you want to support my work, the channel, everything that we are trying to achieve through urban sustainability and urban homesteading, please head over to buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. As much as I love my homemade sauces, I also love my coffees. And if you want to share this with anyone else, if you could smell what this smells like, you would be sharing this video with everybody that you know that might like mustard. But yes, please share it out to other like-minded people. And until next time, explore your taste buds and enjoy making your own homemade mustard.